it's our old friend, the Nico that destroys chains. So we've got a, a good day here. Time for a rebuild, two new chains, which is ridiculous cost. But uh, also I just pulled this out of the kitchen. They said it wasn't lighting on its own, which means that uh, igniter is no good, but let's take a look. I've shown you this lots and this is where store screw it up this heat shield is on backwards so this this is never going to function right anyway this heat shield has to angle towards the front that there's a there's a catch right there goes there so it angles out the front you put it backwards it's never going to operate properly because you're not having the heat escape how it's supposed to and get fresh oxygen where it needs it. So problem number 18 on this unit, but take a look at the existing chain and how it's rung. I'm gonna set this up here so we can talk about that, right? It's hung this way. Only one end of these chains has a, a master link that's open. The other end is closed. It's a real pain in the butt, but we are gonna either go to the other side and feed this in or we're gonna unroll it and feed that end in because you see we want it as it goes through, we want it pulling this way. We don't want it inversed where these are facing down because they're facing up. That matters. Okay, now from the front, this is where it's a giant pain in the butt. So trying to get do the under wrap. This is definitely not gonna happen one hand, but look at this as a reference. We go over this and we have to be over this and then we'll pop out there. But if you don't get it over this part, then shortly after it'll work for a little bit and then eventually it'll hang here and just rip. Okay, so strung over the top, strung through the bottom. Over that, over that, and out the front. Now we can get an idea of length. The tensioner rod is this rod right here in that silver one right there. So that moves down and we'll then put this much more tension on the chain when we're done. So you have to push it all the way up. See how it's seated at the bottom? So it's all the way up so that when I get that as tight as I can, which you can only get so tight because it's a chain, then we do both sides, push that rod down and boom. You should have the tension you need. Okay bring it to where this is right there. And I've gone one link at a time where I pull this back one link, one link, one link. So we're seated in all the teeth. So then you pull it tight on the bottom, take a look that it seats in the teeth, which it is. And now look at where it hooks, right? It'll hook on this one, this one. So I got a Sharpie in my pocket. I'm gonna mark this link. I wanna leave this full rod and I wanna cut the rest off. I do that by grinding this link. All right, well, there we go. I wish I could tell you there was a magic trick now to get this, but uh, there's not. All right, so two new chains, look, no slack at all. Uh, I don't mind. That happens by pulling this down and then tightening these, which I did manually. And then I used the impact just to really torque them in place. All right, so we're gonna start. Uh, I, I left this tray in so I could gather all this and dump it in one swoop. And uh, see if we can't take care of this rocking situation here. Missing a bolt, obviously, yeah, right there. And uh, yeah, good times. And we'll go ahead and put it together put it in place, pull that side off and see if I need to replace the igniter. All right, I just fired that up. We're gonna see the chains go, but. Hmm. That is operable, but it's not. It's failing for sure. Look what I mean in the difference between what you're putting out and when I put a new one on there, how it looks.
That's how a new one should light up. All right, the gas back on, we're glowing. Probably gonna take a second because we had the gas off, so it's gotta catch up. There she goes. Yeah, there we go. The upper box I didn't see light the first time. All right, we're lit. Top the bottom. Chains are rolling. 345, 350. There's nothing prettier than a new chain.